So, now that I'm back doing textures, um, again, two lines of code, not really, because there is a function here, there's a function there. So there's a few more lines of code, which I will optimize. But basically, I'm, I'm starting to implement shaders. And I use the edge, as you, you've seen before. Just a few lines of code that edits what kind of information I return uh, as a color. So right now, what I'm doing, um, I'm hitting a block. I'm trying to figure out which position of the block I'm trying to I'm hitting. Really, it's not that simple, but there is enough information where I can actually do this and I'm gonna pause the video once I show you that yes indeed I can texture everything every little block I can texture it as well so this weird gradient thing is simply how I test textures the fact that uh, different pixels can have different color kind of proves that kind of there could be a few more issues but and it does look a little bit weird because I enhance only uh, I, I left blue color untouched so there's a lot of blue This, this looks pretty nice. I can even invert blocks to look like they are viewed from the inside very easily um, by doing this. Now, I don't think that's that has a lot of utility, but still. I can do that. And now everything is inverted. Instead of viewing the front of the cube, look in the back of the cube. Right, that's kind of weird. Not only that, you can actually enter the cube. And, yeah. Have fun in there. The shaders work from inside out as well. That's how cool it is. <laughs> You don't see that with polygons, double-sided polygons. Why waste time, right? But here it is just super simple feature. So I'm gonna pause the video and try to implement some kind of seed-generated texture. Now a seed-generated texture, also, by the way, if you look into the numbers, they don't seem that much smaller. The spawn, come on, focus. Okay, anyways, we have 200 uh, and 50k done in 2 seconds, which is 50% faster than the last time. But as I show you, the voxel performance is actually still faster. Uh, my 8 million uh, blocks has no match against 8 million blocks in voxel performance. It's still 50% slower, but it's not three times slower anymore, just 50%. So I'm, I'm getting there, and I still haven't worked on, uh, on something that will extend my viewpoint, but uh, that, that's a lot of work. I will have to completely redo the rate tracing a little bit and it might not even work so oh yeah when dealing with the numbers I forgot to mention one thing about voxel for performance uh, the sponge has no shader applied has no colors applied for each voxel each voxel would have a color I have it 
and it costs six seconds so basically basically it's pretty much equal I don't know why it's equal I don't want to be equal I want to be better like all I'm doing is just spawning blocks not every single point for polygons so I'm still not sure why it's better on voxel performance but uh, basically it's equal and there's not much optimization to do I don't think so we'll see because I have a lot of ideas of how to push the engine forward now let's implement textures okay I've done a texture so to speak the texture for a block obviously it's pretty much infinite and these are not blocks this is just one block right don't get confused and this right there is uh, 64 by 64 blocks textured with the checker pattern almost good enough there is a uh, this little issue texture issue it's inaccurate so to speak so I'll have to figure out what the hell is going on but other than that isn't that amazing that is amazing also um, if I go back and check the numbers which cannot focus yet anyways but uh, the numbers are a little better it was 50% less efficient now it's 30% less efficient I've optimized one part and again the voxels have colors and are double sided if I go inside the cube as I already did the ray tracing is going to work anyways right I can go inside a cube and imagine that I am in a huge texture mess right in this one cube I already have a, a room full of stuff that I can do oops that's kinda weird <laughs> that's that's amazing and there's probably more and more stuff that I'm gonna discover because I'll change a few things and I'll have to add animation animation is still pretty difficult uh, but I think I think there is a way to do it to do it smoothly and to do it with you know spheres this time you can actually add spheres if you try hard enough because it's ray tracing engine oh god damn it there's a lot of work all right this is as much as I'm gonna show you for today so I'm gonna keep on working on textures a little bit I guess to fix that little issue but other than that there's a there's a few little big, a few big things that I have to do. Anyways, see you guys then.